So my talk today is uh, recognition of shared humanity. And this month we're talking about oneness. And one of the most important elements of life is the recognition of our shared humanity. And that song certainly said, stand up together. See, when we are in touch with the common humanity, we want the best for everyone. We, when we leave someone out of our blessings, we literally leave ourselves out of the blessing. Hear that? I think it's important for us to understand that because when we think that anyone is not deserving of our blessing, then we're saying there's a piece of me that doesn't deserve to be blessed. Amen. The feelings of inadequacy and disappointment and love and kindness are universal. They belong to all of us. Common humanity, wanting good for all, triggered by self-compassion, allows each one of us to be more understanding and less judgmental. This is what we're working in and toward and for. This naturally expands our ability to express unconditional, positive regard toward others. Everybody agree with that? Amen. Are you open today to understand that there's a gift in what we're going to talk about today? Yes? Yes. We're staying open to it. Anybody not that wants to be close? <laughs> because you see, when we begin this talk today, because there's a gift in it for you, I have no idea what the gift is going to be. But you will receive it, yes? Yes. You open to get the gift. Because yes. it's going to be different for everybody. It's just right for you. So there's a story of a woman who goes to heaven and, and she talks to God and she says, she goes to God and she said, we really need help. And he, she said, who's going to fix all these problems? And God replies, I have sent you. See? <laughs> It's up to each one of us. What is ours to do? That's what we talk about here. That's why we, why we do the prayer work for everybody. And now it's time to demonstrate how that's going to work, okay? And I'm going to call Reverend Susanna. She's going to demonstrate. Muscle testing. Thank you. Kinesiology. Kinesiology. Do all of you know that? You're familiar with that? Okay. So Reverend Susanna, we're going to be strong. Okay, and look at appointment. Your name is Suzanne. Ah, she's, it's right. Your name is Marianne. <laughs> That's not correct, is it? You all get that? Okay. Now I want everybody here to think of something just really special in your life. It, it's a, maybe a special place, it's a beautiful place. Every time you think of this place, you feel so relaxed and, and just in love and whew, got it? Everybody got it, okay? Send it to Reverend Suzanne. It'll be strong. Look how strong she is. Now I want you to think of a place that you really don't like going to. Maybe you don't like doing the dishes. Maybe you don't like washing the windows. Maybe you don't like mopping the floor. Maybe there's something else you don't like. I want you all to just think about that. Don't send it to Reverend Susan. <laughs> but just bring it in your mind. Fill the room with it. Reverend Suzanne's doing the same thing. Be strong. Okay. So now, you get that? She got it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her and Suzanne get strong again. Okay? Now I'm going to go like this and you're going to think of the good thing or I'm going to go like this you're going to think of the bad thing. Okay? But she's not going to know because I'm behind her. Okay? Are you all ready? Here's your signal. Now send that to Reverend Suzanne. Send it to her. Send it to her. Be strong. Okay. Put your arm up. Be strong. Okay. 
everybody, send it to her, send it to her full force. Ready, be strong. Good, thanks, Ruben. Suzanne, give her a hand. <laughs> important is that? How important is what we think about anybody, what we go out there and think about somebody and we can bring to mind somebody that's really been bugging us, yes? Right now, send them that same feeling of love and harmony and well-being. Look at the power of right thinking. So I want you right now to just absolutely fill this room with prosperity, with health, with wholeness, with those happy thoughts. Because what you want for each other, you must equally want for yourself. And we just saw a demonstration of the power of right thinking. So I'm wanting you to really understand the power of your thoughts. Because right thinking cancels and erases everything unlike itself. Right thinking solves problems. You see someone you have an upset with and you just shower them with love. See that rain of love just pouring on them. Can you do that? Why do you want to do it? For love. Very good. Good answer. Because there's a power within each one of us that we can use to lift up anyone. You see somebody or something on TV that you're really not too fond of, you shower them with love. You want everything to be right for them, even if it's in another place. You hear that? Wish them well. Let's each one of us line up with what we desire. And here's something very important. Whatever thoughts you have about someone else is the energy returning back to you. Sorry about that. Yeah. But that's the truth. You saw it with Reverend Suzanne. And years ago when I got a divorce, I, I, I was broken. I was broken hearted, I was scared, I had two young children to raise alone, but no matter what happened in our marriage, I kept wishing my ex-husband well, because I wanted to be well. Because I wished for him I was equally wishing for myself to be well, to have a good life. It took 15 years preparing myself to be blessed beyond my wildest dreams. Some of us take a little longer than others. It's all good, all God. And this is available to everyone, not Rick, but to everyone. <laughs> It works, you guys. And, and, and I had a difficult neighbor when I, when I moved into Santa Rosa. And, and this neighbor just very selfish. He had a big dog. The dog jumped over my fence, grabbed my dog by the neck. I had a little dog like Bodie. Not quite like Bodie, but similar. Grabbed him by the neck, almost killed him. The guy said, oh, well, don't care. So I started wishing him well someplace else. <laughs> it worked. I'm telling you, it works. Because you see, I sent him all the love that I could muster up because I wanted him to be well someplace else. Six months later, they moved. <laughs> Hallelujah. Two months later, the wife drives up in a brand new Corvette to show off in the neighborhood. She was so happy. I said, thank you, God. We got well. And thank you, God. I was very happy. Thank you, God, for their happiness and equally for mine. 
And I gave extra thanks, but they moved. <laughs> it works, you guys. Love unites all of us in well-wishing prayers, wanting the best for everyone, especially for ourselves. So if you want it for yourself, you've got to give it to other people. Yes? Yes. yes. We don't have to make anybody wrong to be right. No. We just have to know that we all are in God's favor. And if we want the best, if you want the best for you, then include other people, especially those that you might disagree with, that might not meet your expectations. Wish them well. Want the best for them because you want the best for you. Recognition of our shared humanities asks each one of us to lead our life as leaders of God's love. Being examples out there in the world. And I guarantee you, you will free yourself. Unstick your life from that which may have held you hostage for a really long time. People I tell the unkind neighbor story say to me, oh, Reverend Maggie, I can't wish someone so well with all the wrong that they've done and all the pain that they've caused. They need to be punished. I understand that pain. I understand it very well. But when we keep repeating the wrong of others, we trap ourselves in the same energy. And we saw what negative energy did to Reverend Suzanne. She became weak. And I know some of you have been really hurt. Hurt badly and, and carry extra pain because of that hurt. And those of you who I know do, you get my prayers and I shower you. We remember from last week, remember that? Those of you who weren't here last week, you hold out your hands. And you put your pain in your hands. So let's just all of us stop now. Close our eyes, please, and put our hands out. And if you're one of those people that have extra pain in your life and wish to have it be gone and, and be lifted up, I'm going to ask you to put that pain in your hands because we in this moment are going to tell the pain that lives in our, that's sitting in our hands, not inside of us, but in our hands. We're going to tell that pain that our God is mighty and powerful. And that God that lives within us and lives within every human being is powerful and there is a powerful healing taking place right now. This is what I know for you. This is what I know for me. And we let it be so. So it is. And open your eyes. We've got to stop and tell our pain how powerful our God is. And daily give our pain to God. Daily. Okay, God, this one's for you. Sometimes we have to do it minute by minute. So today, I'm going to invite each one of us to commit to learn to lead every day in God's love. Because that's the answer and lead it every day from God's favor. See, I, I wish for everyone prosperity because I desire it for me. So I don't go out and say, oh, may you be prosperous, may you be prosperous. I just walk past you and say, prosperity is yours. You see? I know there are people who really wish for a great partner. And I don't ever stop to say, well, you know, that person's really too grumpy to have a good person. Anyone? <laughs> you know somebody, possibly. See, I see them lifted up in love and friendship. They say, I, I'd really like to find a partner. Yes! And I see that. Without a definition of anything other than, wow, because I know how important it was to me. This community is here to demonstrate and live from unconditional love. 
so we can take it out into the world. So that's what we, be, what we begin here in this community, to be loving, to be kind, to be giving to each other, to ourselves and to each other, so that we can build that love muscle and that unconditional support here in this community, and then we can take it out there. So just take a moment, breathe in that whole idea. First shower, everybody in this room, This is the best day. Love fills us each up to overflowing. Everything is working in my favor, definitely in your favor. And I know the answer is present. Yes? Yes. yes. And so it is.